Well, what the hell have we gotten ourselves into here? Hello, my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. I haven't done a lawnmower video in a while because, you know, how many dang lawnmower videos can a guy do? And they're almost always the same. Almost always, you know, someone abandons a lawnmower. Actually, it's, I say I haven't done one in a while. I just did one up in North Dakota, but I thought that was kind of cool because it was uh, my daughter emulating me. But anyway, they're almost always the same. It's almost always, uh, you know, leave them sit, carburetors get gummed up, um, basic stuff like that, maybe a pull cord replacement. So if, if you're a handy person and you need a lawnmower, keep your eyes open because I have repaired a whole bunch of lawnmowers in the last several months and I did not pay a penny for any of them and almost all of them I fixed for between free and $20. So there's lawnmowers out there. If you need one immediately, of course, you may have to buy one, but if you can wait, you can find a free one and fix it yourself. They're very easy to work on. My daughter did it. Well, almost. She almost had it done. But anyway, um, a friend of mine, my guy down the road, gave me this mower before I headed out on my road trip and I pushed it aside and uh, said I wasn't gonna mess with it. And then the other day I had a few minutes, so I cleaned out the carburetor, you know, did my usual stuff, sprayed some, he had already had the carburetor off, so I, clean that up, put it on, sprayed a little bit of juice in here, and she just wouldn't um, start. It would pop a little bit, but it wouldn't go. And uh, I pushed it back out for a bit, and I thought about it. And I guess I should have been recording from the start. I did not record from the start, because I just got excited working on this. But um, this is a somewhat common issue on uh, these lawnmowers. If you're mowing and you hit a curb or a rock or something and the lawnmower stalls and it won't start after that there is a good chance that you have sheared your flywheel um what did i do with the flywheel i just had it i think it's over in my scooter because i just ran to the lawnmower shop let me go grab it and i'll be right back et voila in french and there it is this is your flywheel as you can see there is a keyway in here and on the crankshaft of the engine there is a keyway. Now, if the blade is spinning at several hundred RPMs and you hit something and that blade stops suddenly, you go into these, uh, you know, laws of motion and such. If you've uh, studied physics and an object at motion tends to stay in motion, the blade has stopped, the engine is turning. This flywheel is keyed to that, like I said. And that key is actually designed to break. Let me set you up here because uh, I have a stand and you know two hands are better than one. All right. There's two quarters. That's how much this costs to repair. And here is a sheared key. And there is what it's supposed to look like. It costs 50 cents at the little local um, lawnmower joint. You can probably get it online. You can go to uh, Harbor Freight, Home Depot, etc. There just happened to be a lawnmower shop. I knew this wasn't going to be an expensive part. Um, the reason why I determined that was the problem is because, like I said, I was, I was spraying carburetor cleaners directly into the engine. It was kind of uh, backfiring. The engine would fire a little bit and it would kind of kick back. So I knew that it had everything it needed, but with that keyway being sheared, that meant that this was not lined up where it needs to be. And your flywheel has magnets inside of here, or actually around the outside, that's a magnetic surface there. And that's what sends your signal to your coil that tells it when to fire. So it is sending spark at the incorrect time. And that's why it was kind of backfiring. In order to get these off, 
what you need to do is of course take off the top engine cover however yours comes off sometimes other items this fuel tank had to come off and then you have to remove your pull start cover this one was held on with about four or five bolts and then this item is held on like that so you got to take off there is usually a large nut of some sort that comes off and you will need a two or three jaw puller three jaw puller preferred and uh, you can pick one of those up at an auto parts store harbor freight not too expensive 15 bucks so basically hand tools and a little bit of uh knowledge it's a pretty easy thing to check i could tell immediately that this one was off because i could see this keyway here was lined up like that something like that so we'll put this back together with my 50 cent part and we'll see if we can get this more operational for 50 cents okay let's see if i can show you kind of how this goes together it's kind of a pain in the ass here because we got that little break two people would be the better way to do this but and two hands of course Push that down on there, line that up, and we can drop our key right in there. There you go. And now we will put this item back on, and this item back on. And there's likely to be some sort of a torque specification for this. You can figure that out, but I'm just gonna tighten it pretty goddamn tight. How's that? Okay, 50 cents later, we got her all back together. Let's take a look and see how she uh, starts up. Right, let's prime it. have a 50 cent lawnmower not too bad this little six and a half horsepower front drive Briggs and Stratton mower for 50 cents and a little bit of knowledge a little bit of time I mean even if you had to buy all the tools you'd be in it for 50 bucks and then you'd have forty nine dollars and fifty cents worth of tools so <laughs> you know that's that's kind of how I've amassed all the uh, tools and equipment and stuff that I've gotten over the years because if I need it for a job you know I can save the money and it's an investment especially if you're into that sort of thing or enjoy it or maybe you just like to watch other clowns on YouTube do it whatever it is but if you're digging watching this clown work on stuff on YouTube give me a thumbs up leave some comments down below and if you're not already a subscriber please consider doing so Man, what a beautiful day. Look at this. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.